I'm sorry, but did anyone else feel very queasy and a bit uh, when they saw like Kenpachi's arm just being going fucking round and round and twisted? I'm like, the best way to describe how the compulsory is just making me feel right now is just nauseated, but not in a bad like a bad way. It's like that's supposed to do that because like when you saw like when he just like slashed his head, you just saw like Kenpachi's like, oh, I just lost an arm. No, mate, you was going to lose your entire body if you just didn't, like, keep letting that go. Because, like, like, his arm just started twisting and twisting. 360 nose goes around his arm. And, like, even, like, Ikaku and Eero, like, what the fuck is getting bent further? So, Kenpachi just has to rip the arm off, like, completely. You see, like, blood splat everywhere. And to the point where it kept twisting itself so much that it just turned into a bit of blood. Just nothing but much. And, it's, and he, uh, it was just strange enough. He was like... Well, yeah, it's a good idea that you ripped it off. I'm, I'm just thinking Kevin Patch, she's not even paying attention. She's like, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> that really hurt. Mayuri put some fucking, like, I know some drugs in me because that's painful as fuck. And then, funny enough, when you saw this, like, I was like, the best thing they could do is just not get close to it as well. And they just like, yo, Nemo fucking, like, tie up his arms so he stops the blood loss. And strangely enough, like, there was one panel that I got very interested, like, Nemu's, like, voicing an opinion that was, like, at the start of the chapter, like, saying, you know, oh, it's weird for you to voice your opinion, you know, and I don't know, I feel like, I feel like Nemu, like, might be able to, like, finally breaking out of their own shell or something, maybe it's like that, because, I, I don't know, like, because like, that's one thing about the like, Nemu's character is that I felt like she should have had a way lot more development after, like, the whole thing with, like, Uryu, I feel like that should have been the thing that happened to her that changed her, but... Uh, like, hey, that might even be, like, a reason for her to even be here. Saying, like, the only reason I want to really be here, uh, apart from helping my is, like, help fucking the uh, guy who are you. Like, I don't know, I feel like something, like, missing, like, completely out of the character or something. Like, after all that help that she did all the years ago. But then, after we saw that part, like, fucking Kibachi just decided to charge in again, like a motherfucker slashing him. And you see, like, all his bodies just starting to twist. And literally, Mayuri has to stab him with Ashirogi Jizo. Not to mention as well, it's like, you fucking bastards. Like, you had to take, like, all your fucking, like, nerves and all that from Ashirogi Jizo. And he does the fear factor for by stabbing it in the eye. It like, he goes death like that. It's like, you'll go death in, like, four days. Like, Kenpachi just goes on the fucking ground. And like, I just love fucking, like, Mayuri's face. It's like, well then. <laughs> like, just putting the sword back in. He's like, well, you know, the Anastasia's kicking in, so fuck you. And he's like... And the thing that's very interesting about the compulsory is that his whole ability is nerves. So, like, the thing that he controls, like, it's kind of like an opposite version of the blue thing where, like, you know, you can, uh, can pump Reishi into the blood vessels, but he's actually pumping, like, Reishi out of, like, it seems like the blood vessels to actually control people's nerves. So, that's something I find very interesting about his ability in this one. And then it's like, oh, he just starts throwing, like, fucking, like, mad bunch of fucking chemicals at him. And he's like, you know what? I'm going to fuck you up and all that. I'm like, I'm interested in your power. And it seems like this is a fight that Mayuri is going to have an interesting time with. And it's like, yeah, this is like definitely one of those matchups where it feels like this is more meant up for like Mayuri to go against. And I'm curious to see like, you know, what exactly Mayuri's power is going to be. I mean, let's see what big old Sunhead can do. Like, but other than that, this was a good chapter. I definitely say I did like this chapter of Bleach and seeing, you know, He's always going to transform, and it's like, I'm just imagining some fucked up thing down there, like, it was just going to be, like, this massive fucking, like, just bunch of, like, creepy-ass veins and shit like that. But, honestly, like, um, I'm looking forward to it. There have been, like, rumors, I remember some people saying that that might be, like, uh, Yachilu down there. I really don't see, like, like, so you tell me, like, like, the only way I can see that happening is, like, say, like, the whole thing about compulsory that infects other people, and it goes into there. But other than that, I give this like I give this a solid eight. It was a great chat to this week. But I'll see you guys next time.